In this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to source control the API proxy changes using Git. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apigee Edge account, you need basics of Git as well as you need basics of Apigee API proxy. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. Let's say whenever we create an API proxy in Apigee Edge to manage, secure, analyze as well as build APIs, API proxy is actually a combination of folder and XML files that you can source control using tool like Git and you can able to track the changes whenever you update the API proxy with new policies so that you can able to revert back to the earlier commit and you can also easily manage the changes when you work as a team like creating a different branches whenever you update an API proxy. Let's see how it works in action. Let's create a simple API proxy and uh, track the changes using Git. Click on API proxies uh, to create a new proxy. Click on place proxy button. Choose reverse proxy and then click on next and give the proxy name as uh, git demo and I'm gonna say proxy base path as uh, slash v1 slash git hyphen mock and give the existing API as uh, mock target dot apg.net slash json. Click on next to choose authorization as pass through. Click on next. Choose defaults. Build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, access the proxy overview screen and access the proxy endpoint. As you can see, it's a simple API which gives a JSON response. Let's see how to track the changes uh, using a source control tool like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this particular API proxy uh, into my local machine using uh, this particular navigation project and then download revision. What you get is a zip folder that you can uh, unzip and uh, see the proxy contents and you can able to put that into Git and version track the changes. To do that, I'm going to create a simple uh, Git repository. I'm in github.com. So I'm going to create a simple git repository, let's say apg forum v 4 d git demo and uh, click on create repository. Once repository is created, let's uh, clone the repository into a local machine. Let's clone the repository. So I'm going to do it as in git clone and then the repository URL. As you can see, I just uh, placed uh, the uh, GIF folder that we downloaded uh, inside uh, the clone repository and I unzipped the contents of the uh, GIF file. You will see an API proxy folder. Let's uh, delete uh, the GIF file. As you can see, the API proxy bundle is actually a combination of XML files and folders. Let's push the changes to Git. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Git add and then do Git commit, pass commit. Do Git push to push the changes to the remote repository. We are now pushed the code changes uh, to the Git repository. Now let's uh, make a modification to our API proxy and see how we can able to track the changes. I am back to the proxy develop screen and I'm going to add a simple policy like verify API key policy. Click on preflow and click on plus step on top of request and then choose uh, the verify API key policy. Click on add and then save it as a new revision. And let's download the changes and update uh, the local source code. You can able to automate this process using RPG deployment tools and you don't need to do it manually. Let's download the revision, click on download revision. So what you're gonna get is you're gonna get updated revision. So we're gonna override the source code with this updated uh, GIF file contents. So let's override uh, with the GIF file contents. Now let's push these changes to Git repository. So I'm gonna do Git status to check uh, the changes. As you can see, there is a new uh, uh, policies folder. Let's add that and let's commit the changes. And then do git push. As you can see, we have made two commits. So one is uh, 30 seconds ago. Let's see the changes in the latest commit. When I click on the latest commit, as you can see, we have pushed revision two and we have added a verify APK policy as well as uh, uh, you can see that verify API key policies that actually preflow of the request in the proxy endpoint. That's how we can able to version track uh, and uh, source control uh, uh, the changes that you have made to your API proxy by leveraging Git. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comment.apache.com. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues.